guys, today I wanted to talk about how to enjoy giving your partner head. This is how I have gotten to the point where I really get turned on by it. And I'm gonna give you those tips. I'm gonna help you through some of these struggles that a lot of people face when they're going down on their partner. And hopefully this can just create an environment where you feel comfortable going forward and giving some sick head. Like the kind of head that he's gonna think about later when he's masturbating or the kind of head where you know when he's talking to his friends about like, yeah man, it was the best blowjob of my life. He's talking about you. Here's the first thing. It's not your job to be a porn star. You're a person interacting with another person and your only job here is to feel comfortable and to try to give your partner a lot of pleasure. And I would argue that the third thing that you are responsible for in this situation is to enjoy it as much as possible. You don't have to go through deep throating this, getting his dick down your throat. You don't have to like swallow a big load if you're not comfortable. You don't have to have a facial if you're not comfortable, but you should go into this situation with an open mind and being a little turned on at the idea of giving your partner pleasure. Even if you're not necessarily like the biggest blowjob fan, but you do it because your partner loves it, the idea that you can make him squirm under you, that you can make him moan and say all those dirty little words that he's gonna say, that should be a huge turn on. If you let that be a turn on, if you let that be something that you take a lot of pride and pleasure in, then you're going to be more turned on giving somebody a blowjob than if you're going into it with the attitude of like, guess I gotta do this, it's his birthday, okay. <sighs> take off your pants and I'll do this for three minutes and then we'll just have sex. And that's another thing, if you know that you're good at something, you're more likely to do it. If you are bad at giving blowjobs and you're just doing it once a year for his birthday or an anniversary or something, no kidding, you don't wanna do it. No kidding, you don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do math because I'm not good at math. I avoid things that I'm not good at, so do most other people. So, <laughs> practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes you a blowjob guru. And I can absolutely guarantee you that your partner is not gonna have any issue with you wanting to practice and improve your skills. And this goes back to where I talk about communication constantly. Truly, I am such a broken record when I talk about communication, but you have to be able to talk to your partner about what they want. And this doesn't have to be such a strict, like middle of the afternoon, pinkies out conversation where you're like, and I would like to know what you would like out of a blowjob. You can just literally, while you're doing it, be like, does that feel good, tell me what you want, baby. Like, it can be a part of dirty talk, it can be adding to the situation instead of being in an awkward conversation. Or, it can be part of foreplay. You know, tell me about your best blowjob, tell me about what you love, tell me about what feels best to you. And we're just gonna insert into this portion of the video that your partner should be equally as concerned with making you feel good and with improving their skills in terms of going down on you or fingering you or having sex with you or sucking your dick, whatever it is they should be absolutely on par with you in terms of I want to improve and make you feel amazing. So a lot of people talk about what do you do when you're about to finish? What do you do? Do you have to spit? Do you have to swallow? Is there one thing that somebody prefers? And I will say that on my last blowjob videos, which were years ago, but we're coming back to it guys, we're coming back and I will link those down below. I did say do whatever you're comfortable with and a lot of people in the comments from men were like, no bitch, swallow. <laughs> but if you are going down on somebody and you are not comfortable swallowing, you don't have to do that. You've already given this guy a blowjob that is hopefully mind-blowing because of all the work that you've been putting in and the attitude that you're coming into this with. You don't have to do something that you're not comfortable with. You just don't. If that's his preference, that's totally sweet. But you can still spit if you don't want to. <laughs> or if you'd prefer, he can just tell you when he's close and then he can finish on your stomach or on your boobs or if you wanna go there on your face, whatever you want. Or a lot of people use blowjobs as foreplay, no kidding and then you can just go straight into having sex. And this actually works really well if your partner has a lot of stamina and it starts to hurt after a while because you're sitting there having sex, getting pounded for like 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Start off with a blowjob and then it can shorten the time that you're having sex substantially. So now let's talk about actually giving the blowjob. Say your guy has a ginormous dick and you're like, I can't get this thing down my throat. I've been watching a lot of porn. This is the kind of porn he watches. I know that this is what he likes. I can't do it. I can't, like physically the gag reflex, it won't fit. You don't have to. Again, not your job. You're not a porn star. You're his partner or you're his one night stand or whatever it is. You're just another person who's going down on his penis. And that is where 
these babies come in. So you just put a hand around the base of his dick and give him kind of like a half blow job, half hand job. And really this is just, it's not even a hand job, right? Cause your mouth is still freaking there. But this is just allowing you to get sensation all up and down the penis. And you don't have to worry about puking on his wiener. I know there were some people who were just sitting there like, wow, I'm getting really turned on by this video. And then I said puking on his wiener and they were like, my boner has gone. Where did it go? Truly, this is my favorite tip. Like if I want to go and try to be a little like extra sassy one day and I'm like we're not gonna use hands then fine but most of the time there's a hand there and then you can take the other one and use it to cup his balls you can double fist it you can like reach up and like grab for him you can do whatever I feel like a lot of people when they're starting out giving head they feel really uncomfortable with like I don't want to be in a weird position I don't want to look funny while I'm doing this doesn't matter you're sucking his dick you could be doing this while doing a handstand it's totally fine. And then the other thing is eye contact. This is something that you hear a lot of the time being very important, but again, when you're starting out doing this, or if you're insecure in your skills, or you know, whatever it may be, you might feel uncomfortable and strange actually staring somebody in the face while you're going down on them. So again, this depends on the position. You know, if he's sitting down and you're kneeling and you're giving him a blowjob, that's a really good time for the eye contact. If he's laying down and you're going down on him, that's also a good time for eye contact, but you know, you can totally fix that by just having like covers over you or something or you know you don't have to give eye contact if you don't want to but it is kind of that added thing where you can make it like I'm in control. Like it doesn't have to be a subservient thing where you're like looking up at him for approval. You can look up at him and be like, I am making you feel so fucking good, aren't I? For me, I've found that going down on somebody, it can be such a freaking turn on because it's that mixture of like, I'm in control, I'm doing this to you. And as somebody who's usually a little bit more like submissive in the bedroom, that's my time to like shine. And then it's also just like such a turn on power aside to see that I am doing this to another person that like I can make somebody feel so good and that's a huge turn on this is also a really good time if you want to elevate a blowjob to introduce toys so you can like use a vibrator or a clit massager on yourself or you can run a vibrator up and down the base of his penis obviously this is something that you talk about but having your partner watch you play with yourself and masturbate and be so turned on by this situation that's only going to add to the blowjob. Like, it's going to add so much. And what it really comes down to at the end of the day, how I end all of these videos, it is important that you realize that your comfortability, consent, and just feeling like you can openly communicate with your partner, it's the most important thing. It's totally the pinnacle of this situation. If you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel safe, if you wanna stop midway through, you are absolutely allowed to do that. There is no situation where it's like, oh, I'm halfway done. He's gonna have painful blue balls. Sucks to suck, go masturbate in the bathroom. If you're over the situation at any point, you can remove yourself, stop. Like there's, you're not ever in too far that you can't pull back if you want to do that. But that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you got something from it. I hope that you smashed the like button because these videos do not make money <laughs> because they get age restricted. And hopefully at least more people will be able to see this. So more people can feel comfortable when they're having sex because that's really what it comes down to, right? It's supposed to be an enjoyable thing. I know that it's a big like stressor for for a lot of people because it is something that like you're not good at right away you do have to practice you have to get comfortable being naked in front of somebody else you have to be comfortable trying new things on somebody else's body but once you feel confident and comfortable and empowered by the situation oh my god it's so fucking enjoyable guys that is it for this video i love you so much again smash the like button leave a comment down below let me know your favorite sex tip or alternatively another video that you want me to cover in this same vein and i will see you again in a couple days bye guys